Hey there, this is the tutorial for the surface treatment that I was showing yesterday, um, which is pretty cool. And I just randomly came across this. People may have done it before. I've actually never seen it done, but um, it's, um, it's kind of cool. Um, so I have, starting out, we're gonna, I have um, black base. <laughs> Um, this is rolled out on the thickest setting and I have it on a piece of paper towel. Um, so the very first thing you do is your secret ingredient that causes the texture is sea salt. Um, and use a grinder because it's going to um, make the pieces bigger and kind of more random sizes all over the place. So literally just grind over the top of your piece. In this first layer, we're gonna push that clay, push that salt into the clay. So just kind of roll over it once really good. So that the salt is, <clears throat> excuse me, in the clay. You do not need to press very hard. It will go in there all on its own, no problems. And then we're gonna have a layer of just loose salt on top. So there. So we have some that's embedded and then some that's loose on top. And then the next thing we're gonna do is I have these, of course, metallic acrylic paints. And I'm going to use Met Forest Green. I will put a link to these um, in the description. And I have these little spray bottles that I got. And I fill them about half full with alcohol. And then about, if you can see, that much with the paint. So it's kind of making my own um, alcohol ink little spray bottle thing. I kept that one... I just filled that one, so got to shake it up really good. And then we're going to spray it. Spray it on here. I'm going to spray it on there pretty good. And then I'm going to do some gold. It's the same thing. Uh, it was the same, this is called champagne gold, and I did the same thing, alcohol, squirted that in there, shake it up real good, and then just kind of randomly over that. Um, and then I think I'm going to go to my handy dandy these alcohol inks that I've been using. This one is Pearl. And I think I'm going to just kind of dab that a little all over. And I'm gonna get a straw and kind of blow this around a little bit. And I actually kind of think I like how that looks. Um, if you can see, uh, got some greens there, some gold, some of that pearl. So I'm gonna take my heat gun and dry it just a little bit because I don't want it to dry too much. Um, sorry, I know it's noisy. So I don't dry it all the way, but just enough to, 
to where it's not so runny. But I am going to give it about five more minutes to dry on its own because those colors will settle into the salt um, when you do that. So I will pause this and I will be right back. Okay, so that's pretty much dry. So really all I'm going to do now is take it off of the paper towel and you can see I think you can see the colors pretty good and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out I only made this large enough for either a pendant or a couple earrings and I'm just gonna do a couple earrings because that's what sells best for me so um, just gonna find some spots that have a lot of color. I'll do here. My husband and my son made fun of me for singing to the camera to you guys, so you guys probably do the same thing, but it's what I like to do. Let's see. I like that. We'll do those too. Ooh, I love this area. Look at all that green. Pretty, pretty. And boy, that's just gonna make it. Let me see. Yep, right there. All righty. So, let's see, these little lovelies, ooh, these are going to be cool. So, I'll go ahead and fix these up, and you can see, you can see the texture and the salt and everything is still on there. Be really careful not to scrape it off. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, and bake these and get them all finished up and I will come back and show you how they turned out okay guys they're all done and they turned out awesome I love them um, hopefully you will too I was told that I don't ever get close enough with my finished products so let me see if I can get really close here but this is how they look you can see the texture of the salt in there and the different shiny colors and that is how they look. I have um, a video coming out maybe tomorrow, but maybe Friday. Um, and it's going to be a faux patina um, technique um, that I kind of just happened to stumble upon. Um, so please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Um, also, my website, Trey's Clay, T-R-E-Y-S Clay, um, I will have these earrings, and I think on Friday I'm going to do a $10 sale, so everything on my site on Friday will be $10. That's this Friday the 11th, and so check it out, and I thank you so much. Have a great day.